So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing functions in C. In the last video, we have discussed what is function pointer, the basics. What is function pointer, how to use a function pointer, how to declare it, how to initialize it and we have just seen a simple program. Right? Basics about uh, function pointer we have discussed in that video. Now in this video, we will discuss one application of function pointer, why we use function pointer and that is nothing but callback function. Function pointers are used, what in callback function, what is this? Right? How to use it, how to know uh, callback a function that we will discuss here with a simple program. Right? And I will show you practical, so we'll, we will run that code and I will show you what output you are getting, what is callback function. Right? So, everything about callback function we are going to discuss in this video, but before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you are preparing for gate or will be preparing for gate 2023 exam, then an academy is going to start a new batch from 29th of September for gate and ESC aspirants. It's you know, Arohan for gate and ESC. In this course, the top educator will cover all the subjects of CS and IT and helps you to prepare in your gate exam. Here you will get the detailed explanation of all the concepts and apart from this, some special classes would also be there. Like they will discuss preparation strategies, some tips and tricks, shortcuts to solve some questions, practice questions and numericals. So that these classes would really be helpful for you guys. And the course would be covered in both Hindi and English and notes would be given to you in English only. Plus some doubt uh, solving session would also be there. So you can you know get your all your doubt cleared in those doubt uh, solving sessions. And this is paid subscription because you will get a complete and structured course. But here the special price week is going on. So if you go for a subscription 12 months or above, then you will get it at a special price with 10% discounted rate. You can see the detail of the price on the screen, the regular price after 10% off. And if you will use my code JKL10, then you will get extra 10% off on that reduced price. So the final price you can see over here. So if you are interested, you can go for the subscription. You can find out the detail of this course in the link that I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. So now let's see what is callback function. This is you can say one type of application of function pointer. I guess you know what is function pointer. You must watch out my previous video first, then come to this video, then you will get it better. Function pointer is what? It's like a normal pointer variable, but it contains address of a function. So function pointer contains address of the code and normal pointer contains address of the data, right? Or the value, right? And now function pointers are used to call back a function. Now, what does this mean? See, let's take a simple example. Here I am taking suppose two function, one is sum, here I am doing sum of two numbers, one is subtraction, here I am doing subtraction of two numbers, right? And from another function, suppose a function is display, from this function I want to call the sum and subtract, right? Means callback function means nothing but we are passing function to a function. If we pass here something like uh, if you write here int a int b, it means what we are passing arguments to this function, right? But here we can pass a function also as an argument in these argument we can pass a function means function to a function that is callback function. We are passing address of another function to a function that is what callback function. Now see. Here we are taking these two function and this display function is going to call this and this. But at run time, whatever here you will pass, here we are going to pass address of, if you will pass address of this function, then it will call some function. When you call, when you pass address of this function here, then it will call this function. Same if we have suppose 10 functions. So from one function, we can call all the 10 functions one by one. One time you can pass address of this function, another, another time when we call this function, just pass address of this function, second function. Third time when you call this, just pass address of the third function. So one function only can call all these functions. It depends what address you are passing at run time only. So this display, display function does not know to which function he is going to call. But whatever address you will pass here, that function it is going to call at runtime. This we will discuss with proper program also, right? Now see, see what, what is happening here. Suppose here I am taking this 
example uh, i am taking void sum and here i am taking int a comma int b and here i am just doing print f percentage d a plus b right and this function is i am taking two argument int a int b and simple here print f percentage d a minus b right two function we have right now one function we have what this display so in display as an argument we are going to pass address of either this or this and if you want to pass address of these function then you must have a pointer to accept that address right so if you are passing address of a function then here we must have a function pointer to accept address of that function obviously so here you have to declare a function pointer right now how to declare that see both the function are having same data type that is void just function pointer name i am taking fptr and you have to put it in brackets and here both the function are taking two arguments so just write down int and int i hope you know how to declare a function pointer that we have discussed in previous video so here we are taking a function pointer as an argument to this function now from this function we are going to call these functions right so how to call using this function pointer because this function pointer is having address of these functions right now how to call f p t r and just pass the argument like i am passing 5 comma 1 that's it or simply you can write f p t r rather than this asterisk that is also fine that will work right 5 and 1 now in main function what we are doing in main function suppose i am calling what here i am calling this display function display and this time i am passing address of this function so how to pass address simply you can write address of sum or rather than m percent you can simply pass the name of the function that also means you are passing address of this base address of this function right next time when i will call i'll say display and subtract that's it means we are passing a function to a function so for this display function sum and sub these are callback function right we are calling this fun function display and this function is calling back or calling again these functions means the the sum and sub these are callback function for this display function callback function right we are calling again these function from this function right so see control will go here now we are calling this so display sum we are passing address of the sum obviously this the sum will having will have some address in the memory starting address we are passing or if you want to find out the address you can simply print the address also right like print f address of the function is percentage p and comma name of the function then you will come to know that this these functions are also having address so it will print the base address of these function if you want to print you can print right when we run this code i'll show you that thing also right now address of this function is suppose in the memory this function is uh, here these are having instructions of this function sum and suppose memory is base address is 1000 and suppose in memory this function is sub having instruction 1 2 3 of sub and the starting address is suppose 1046 so here we are passing 1000 so to accept this now control will go here to accept this address there must have a function pointer so yeah we have a function pointer right void asterisk fptr and int and int right so see now these the return type and the number of arguments these should be same of these function right because we are taking only one pointer one function pointer to call these functions suppose here the data type is float and here we are taking float then obviously this function pointer will contain address of a 
function which return type is void and which will accept two argument int int and int so it can have address of this function only if you assign address of this maybe it will show some unusual behavior because return type of this is float so i hope you are getting my point all these functions should be of same type like void and here also we are having int because only one function pointer we have using that function pointer only we are going to access all the functions maybe you have 2 3 or 10 functions right so now here we are passing 1000 so in fptr we have 1000 so now this fptr is now pointing to suppose we have a in memory we have fptr this one and now this is pointing to here 1000 so within this first of all we are going to dereference it asterisk ptr the value at this ptr is this code and now in this code we are passing 5 and 1 so here it will go to here now here we are passing 5 and 1 so 5 and 1 so it will print 6 right next time we are calling sub so this time it will pass 1046 so now at this time f ptr is having 1046 so now it is going to call this function now in the we have 5 and 1 subtraction would be 4 so it will print 6 and 4 so see using one function only we can call these two functions right at run time you can pass the name of the function or the address of the function and you can call that function simple as that using function pointer and this is possible only using function pointer so this mechanism is nothing but call by method right and uh, here call by uh, function call back function is what sum and sub right so i hope you got this thing see i have taken a simple example because this is a little bit confusing call back function this uh, kind of thing so that's why i have taken a simple example so now let's run this and see what output you are getting you can try out different different programs that are of complicated level at your own using function pointer right so now let's create a new file callback function dot c right and here we'll take let's take uh, two function void sum and here we are just printing sum equal to percentage d slash n and a plus b you can also write down like return a plus b that is also fine but rather than void there then you have to use int right that is also fine you can take this thing now here we are having next function is sub and just i am printing a minus b right and one more function is what i am taking display so here we'll take function pointer f p t r and it should accept two arguments and here from here we are calling so f p t r and i am passing the argument uh, suppose 5 comma 1 now in main what we do we will call display and first time we'll pass the address of sum and next time we'll pass sub right so now let's run this and see what output you are getting see sum is equal to 6 and sub is equal to 4 so i hope you got this now you can try out different different variations and different different types of programs you know passing a function to a function as an argument so that is nothing but a callback method so that's it for this video now so now in the next video we'll see one more application of function pointer so now i'll see in the next video till then bye bye take care